Oh my gosh. It's taking out drag, you guys. What's going on, everybody? Nick from 618 Fishing here, and welcome back to another fishing adventure. In today's episode, I'm heading to the biggest and most popular spillway in my area. I've been there a few times in the past, but I've never had much luck. So I'm hoping that changes today. All right, guys, I finally made it down to the spillway. There's not too many people here. I've never fished this close to the dam, so I think this is a pretty good spot to fish. I don't really know. Don't know much about this area, but hopefully I'll be able to hook into some decent sized fish today. I think I'm gonna start out using earthworms. I've had pretty good luck with those this year. Toss that on one of my light rods. Let's see if I can get something to go for it. All right, guys, first cast, here we go. All right, time to change up my game plan. Let's toss out one of my bigger rods. Let's try out an ultralight grub. Snagged immediately. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, Today is not going great so far. I've been here for almost 45 minutes. I've had a few little bites, but I have been snagged almost every cast. So I am quickly going through my tackle. I may have to change up something. I've been fishing today for an hour. I've had some nibbles, but I have not had a big bite yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and change up locations. There's actually a really nice looking spot on the other side of the spillway. There was a guy fishing there, but he just left. So I'm gonna make a run for that spot and hopefully catch some fish. Okay guys, I actually changed my mind. As I was driving over to the other side of the spillway, I saw this bridge from the road and it looks like it's a pretty good little fishing spot. I'm gonna start with this little curly tail grub. See if there's any sauger or white bass. I don't know. I'll honestly be happy with anything at this point. So here we go. First cast. Let's try some worms. I did not have any bites with the grub. After that detour, I only have about an hour and a half of fishing left before it gets dark. On the bright side though, I have this entire spillway to myself. Let's see if I can capitalize on that and catch some fish. This spot is looking awesome. I'm gonna toss out this curly tail grub, see if I can get something to go for it. Here we go guys, fish on. Holy cow, this feels like a big one. Please stay on. No, he snagged. Come on. You guys, I have a big fish on, but I'm caught on something. He's still there. I think I'm caught on fishing line. No, no, dang it. That's frustrating. Almost had him to the bank, but I guess there's a bunch of fishing line tangled up down there. I'm re-rigged. I've got some stronger line on there. Let's see if I can land one of these fish. Oh no, I'm snagged immediately. This area is full of snags. Oh, you guys, I got a fish on. Oh my gosh, it's taking out drag, you guys. Oh, it's off, no. Dang, you guys, that was the second fish I've had on since I moved to this spot. 
and that one was taking out drag. It felt bigger than even that first one. Well, you guys, I think I have a fish on this line, but it's snag. Man, it is snag city down there. I've had a total of three fish on since I got to this spot, and every single time I get snagged on what feels like fishing line. There we go, fish on. Let me try to get him off the bottom. Come on. All right, he's at the surface. Yeah. <laughs> Whoo, <laughs> buddy! Finally, finally, finally caught a fish. Awesome. See you later, buddy. This is one of the coolest fishing spots that I've ever been to, and I was getting incredibly frustrated after losing every single fish that I hooked into because of all of the snags, most of it being old fishing line. So I am so happy I was finally able to catch a fish today but I'm going to get some lines back out there because I hooked into some pretty decent ones earlier. I want a second chance. I'm fishing with a very simple Carolina rig. I have an egg weight, then about 12 inches beneath that weight, I have a piece of worm. And those fish down there are really digging this worm, but I'm having a lot of difficulty actually landing the fish. I've noticed if I cast it way out in that slack water, it's actually pretty deep. There are a ton of fish hanging out down there. We'll see if I can get a, let's see if I can get another. The conditions today are horrible. It's about 40 degrees, this water is freezing cold, and it just started raining. So these fish are not very active, but they're still biting. There we go, fish on. Holy cow, come on. This feels like a nice fish, guys. Feels bigger than that last one. Oh, that's a nice fish. That's a nice one. <gasps> it's off. It just broke off. <laughs> yes, you guys finally caught a decent fish. See you later, buddy. Awesome. Those fish are extremely tough to land in this snack-filled spillway, so I am very thankful I was finally able to catch a decent one. Although that was not the biggest one I've hooked into, it was a really nice channel catfish. All right guys, I've got a fresh worm rigged up. Let's see if I can catch an even bigger fish. This bad weather is a good and bad thing. Sure, fishing is extremely difficult, but whenever it's nice out, this location right here is extremely crowded. Right now, I have this entire giant spillway to myself, which is pretty cool. There we go, fish on. There it is, it looks like a catfish. All right. Fish number three, guys. Another channel catfish. See you later, buddy. When it comes to fishing this Carolina rig, it pretty much does all the work itself. I'm casting out in the slack water, letting it hit the bottom, and then if I don't get some bites, I just drag it towards me, let it sit there for a little bit, and just repeat that process until I cast again. Here we go. Fish on. Fish on. All right, not bad. Looks like another little channel catfish. All right, there we go. See you later, buddy. 
Unfortunately, I have run out of daylight, but what an awesome day of fishing. I was not expecting much coming into this because I've never really had luck at this spillway, even though it is a very cool fishing location. I've really never had much luck here. So after going a few hours without catching anything, I cannot express to you guys how stoked I was when I caught that first catfish, followed up by that decent one, all from this side of the spillway. So I had a lot of fun today. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. I will catch you on the next one.